This is Build Your Difference, a podcast created by Blue Artists, a brand platform with one goal, to help great visionaries like you build impressive brands. Every month, we'll bring you insightful tips, knowledge, and compelling stories from successful entrepreneurs and the Blue Artists team on how to create and market a winning brand that does more than just launch a new product or service. It starts an ongoing conversation because you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Let's start building. So we've talked about Brandesk Academy and what that means for the team members. We've talked about Brandesk Hosting, what that means for clients, all this happening with growth in mind. And with that uh, idea of growth in mind, what are we seeing in terms of customers? Where's our focus there? Where's that going? You know, uh, John, our focus when it comes to customers is to remove, ultimately, it's to remove the friction that visionaries feel when they're building their their vision, when they're expanding their brand. We, our goal is to remove the friction. And we're doing that in so many creative ways. One of the ways is by, you know, having a great team. Another of the ways is by having brand desk hosting to make it easier for everything to be in one place. But a really important part is the finances. Um, it's great to have everything in one place, right? But it's also great to be able to afford to buy the things that you need. And, you know, in COVID, this pandemic we're in right now, we're in a situation right now where so many businesses have to make life or death decisions on where they're going to spend. Look, do I spend my very limited revenue on operations or on marketing? I need marketing to get customers, but I need operations in order to fulfill the customer's needs. And unfortunately, so many businesses have to make this ridiculously awful decision every single day because there's, <clears throat> there's just not enough revenue coming in to be able to meet both those needs adequately. And I would say our overall goal is to solve that problem. It's to solve that problem. And, and I, I can't think of any better way to solve that problem than by investing, investing directly in every single customer who comes in and says that they need that level of care and attention. Now, do we invest in every single person? No, because not every single person needs that. And that's okay. There's no credit check. There's no, there's no, um, you know, there's no assessment to decide whether you are, are need or will get our investment in your business. It's just a matter of you deciding, do you want to pay for something in full or do you want to work with a payment plan? And we consider the payment plans that we offer to be us investing in you because these payment plans are coming with no interest. We're not charging interest on any of these payment plans and you get to choose the terms. You get to decide how many months a payment plan is stretched out for, how much you're, you're putting down, how much you're paying each month. You're, you're making those decisions. We provide a, a, a suite of flexible options and you choose the best one for you. And when you as a customer say, look, I believe so much in you guys that I'm willing to choose you over every other contender out there to build my brand then we're gonna say, well, we're gonna meet you more than halfway. We're not gonna meet you 30%. We're not gonna meet you even 60%. We're gonna, we're, uh, or uh, 40%. We're gonna meet you over 50%. We're gonna meet you over 60%. If you, it, we're gonna meet you more than halfway <laughs> so that you can hit the ground running and build your brand and, and really execute on your vision. So it's real simple. When you come to the website and you choose a service that you want, you can decide, hey, you know what? I'm gonna put down 35% down on this service. And I wanna pay the balance off over six months. That option is there for you. You select it, you make your payment, you check out and we're in business. We're in business. There's no credit check. There's no, no other friction to make this ridiculous and stupid. We understand that everyone is going through almost virtually the same thing unless you're one of the less than 1% who own everything. Everybody else, <laughs> we're all kind of going through the same trials and tribulations. And, and so 
We don't need to go through an exhaustive qualification process. We love that you're on our website and we want to do business with you. That's the, the reality of the, of the situation. Um, and I think what really makes us what really makes this compelling is that there are so many solutions available on Brandesk. I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, you know, come to Brandesk and, and we'll handle you, we'll invest in you by, by, uh, by uh, producing your next graphic design project. And that's great. But what if you also need some media? Like, when's the last time someone said they would invest in you to create your podcast or to create your promo video, you know? or to, uh, if you're a musician, to uh, create your album and market it, you know? I mean, th there's so much that is available on Brandesk and all of it shares in this sort of, this sort of, I, I wanna say mantra, but it's more of a MO, the sort of method, which is that we want to reduce the friction for our customers. We want to empower them to build what is important to them. And we have so many ways they can do it. And um, yeah, and, and, and yeah, so, you know, I think ultimately, John, I think that our pricing plans are the most aggressive available. Um, and, you know, we, we want to invest in our customers because we do think that it is our competitive advantage. One thing I'm curious about, um, you know, we're, in thinking of growth here, whether we're talking about growth where team members are concerned, growth where clients are concerned, and now here we are discussing gr growth in the sense of customers. With again, growth on my, on the mind. What does the future of Brandesk look like five, ten years down the road? Oh man, you know. How much time do I got? Yeah, it, it is a long, yeah, <laughs> the answer, I was literally thinking, how can I condense this? Um, you know, the future, the future of Brandesk is, in my hope, the mm -hmm. same as the future of work. The future of work. Um, we exist because the gig economy could see some improvements. Um, we exist because there are, there are scenarios currently at play which are hurting people and actually providing a worse experience than what we deserve as human beings. Um, you know, we're all human beings and you know, some of us are providing service, some of us are receiving service, but we're all people. And, you know, I, I don't like it when, when a platform is always siding with the customer in a situation where the team member is the one that really needs the support. I don't like when I see that. And I don't like when I see situations where customers are being sort of duped into purchasing services from, from people that are A, not qualified, or B, literally have the intent to scam them. I mean, you know, but what protections exist for that? And whatever they are, they're not suitable because people are still getting, getting mistreated in a variety of different ways on a variety of different platforms. And I would say that our purpose is to solve that problem. Are we perfect? No, no, we're not perfect but we're striving to be, and we're striving to create an, a work environment that is as close to perfection as possible when it comes to the kind of work that we're doing and the kind of collaboration that we're hoping to facilitate. Um, and you know, reducing the friction comes in many ways. It comes in reducing the need to haggle, reducing the, re the need to bid, reducing the need to negotiate pricing, the, reducing the need to uh, have to sell yourself, Reducing the need, I mean, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, imagine as a, as a freelancer or a team member logging into one of, these, one of these other platforms and looking at the job board and seeing l literally, literally thousands and thousands of job opportunities for which you are charged for applying to. 
So, so if you had the, if you had, if, if you're like me and you say, look, this is just, a, this is a, a game of numbers. I will book 10% of the jobs that I apply to. Okay. Cause I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. I'll, I'll book 10% of the jobs that I apply to. If my goal is to, is to book 10 jobs, then what that means is that I need to apply to over a hundred, right? Now, if I'm being charged to apply to over a hundred jobs, how much money is the platform making off of me just trying to get work? That, that, there's a deeply fundamental uh, issue there, a deeply unethical issue there, charging people to get work. It's, it's kind of, you know, so we, we are reinventing this whole thing. And, you know, I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to face criticism. And I think we're going to, we're not going to be right all the time. We're going to make mistakes, but we're going to learn from those mistakes because our, our goalpost is improving the future of work. So, you know, from the freelancers perspective, from the team members perspective, we want to be the destination, but from the, from the client's perspective, we want to increase the value proposition not just, you know, it's good enough to say, hey, you can buy any professional service from Brandes, any professional service related to entrepreneurship from Brandes. I mean, that is the goal. That is the goal. We're not there yet, but we're going to get there. That's the goal. Any professional business or brand related service, you can buy it from Brandes. But on top of that, what are we doing to provide value? Well, we, we want to provide excellent top of the line strategic tools so you can come in and build your own executive plans, uh, project your revenue, uh, look at, you know, get suggestions on marketing, speak to guides, get some consulting done that you don't have to pay for. Um, there's, you know, that's a lot of value right there. But in addition to that, what if you could run your business from Brandesk? Now, okay. I'm going to get excited about this. I'm not, I don't want to spill the beans too much on this because it's, this is something that's actively in development, but our goal is to devise a way for customers to log into Brandesk and literally manage their own business, not just the services that we're providing, but their own business operations from within their Brandesk experience. So that ideally when a customer logs into Brandesk, it is exactly the same as going to the office and checking on their different departments. So, um, yeah, we we are <laughs> we are um, absolutely focused on 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 hitting that particular milestone. It, I don't know how much longer it's going to take for us to get there, but we're on track. Um, and uh, yeah, the future of Brandes is the future of work, and and really also the future of hopefully managing your 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 business if you're if you're a client. I hope that does that make sense to you? Do you think it's yeah, yeah, a little too great, lofty? Yeah. No, but you, you can't, never can be too lofty. <laughs> That's how you, you got to have those goals in there. Otherwise you're never going to, you know. Exactly. <laughs> if we don't set the, the goalpost like insanely high, right. then what are we doing? Really? What are we doing? You get one yeah. shot. You, you, you can know? have little, little baby steps along the way, but you got to yeah. have something to reach for. Otherwise it's, it's just no fun. Yeah. And, and I, I really, I agree with that. So even though like we have the, the sort of the ultimate vision set really, really high, we've definitely sort of segmented it or broken it down into, into baby steps that we think yeah. we can realistically hit. And honestly, so far as of right now, as of today, nearly six months into the life of Brandes, I mean, think about this. We're literally, we're literally nearly six months in we have not even close to a year, six months, half a year. And just look at the improvement. Look at the activity that you're seeing in Brandesk so, so early on. Can you imagine what it was like for five or six months in or what it was like for, for Upwork back when they were called Odesk six months in? This stuff takes a while to really catch on before it hits critical mass. And I think for us at six months in, wow, I think we're doing really, really well, really, really well. And the future, I think, is really, really bright for, 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 what, for what we're hoping to achieve, the dent we're looking to put in the universe with Brandesk. Thanks for listening to this episode of Build Your Difference. If you'd like to learn more about how Blue Artists can help you develop a distinguished brand that inspires and engages a growing audience, 
then please visit us at www.blue-artist.com and be sure and subscribe to our monthly podcast for the latest tips and trends in brand development and marketing. And remember, you're not just making a brand, you're making a difference. Start building yours today 